Seth, I called you into my office. Yes. I, I gotta talk to- Because you want me to help you clean up, I right? <laughs> clean up the office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta, at some point I had to find you and talk to you about the science in Family Guy. Yeah, yeah. You just have to watch a few shows and it's in there. <laughs> it's in there deep. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was, you know, I was, I, I was in a church choir. I went to Sunday school and I went to a regular school. And, you know, my parents believed in exposing me to everything and letting me figure it out for myself. And eventually I said, oh, well, these guys are, you know, making these assertions and these guys are making these assertions, but these guys are backing it up with something. These guys are offering evidence. And so that seems a little more trustworthy. Okay. Um, and and so I was kind of drawn to 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 science because it seemed that it, you it, arrived there derived from your own curiosity. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I actually wasn't a great science student mm -hmm. in school. I think you don't. It's not that you don't have to be. You just have to enjoy it. Yeah. Whether or not you're good at it, and people try to equate the two, but I don't think that's a prerequisite. Okay. Yeah, it, it's it's, and then you know, obviously, I discovered the original Cosmos and Carl Sagan and mm -hmm. and. Uh, and at the time you saw the original Cosmos, yeah. did you have any idea that you would one day be executive producer on the next Cosmos? <laughs> didn't didn't occur to me. Didn't occur it to me. <laughs> it was 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 not something that that, that ever crossed my mind. During no. your early flatulence humor with Peter Griffin, you're not yeah. thinking, I'm going to executive produce Cosmos one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was wonderful. Yeah. So uh, Seth MacFarlane, so he created Family yeah. Guy, uh -huh. which started as like a college project at Rhode Island School of Design, and also, he's the creator of Ted 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. And many people don't otherwise know, or it's hard for them to imagine, that he was co-executive producer of Cosmos, That's a space-time odyssey. Yeah. What Seth was saying there is just a perfect example of how we should approach life and knowledge in general. Fart he jokes? Fart, fart jokes. <laughs> there is a scientific paper written by someone at the University of Michigan that claims that farts make everything funnier. But but Charles, we'll why do you know this? I, I was, Wait, yeah. how did you? How? And by the way, that's wrong. Because <laughs> well, I've been to dinner with some people. <laughs> <laughs> well, but look, Seth, as he described in that, understands the difference between scientific and non-scientific knowledge because he was exposed to it, and he uses it all, both the scientific part and the non-scientific artistic part. It's the best way to live life.